So here I am at good old BK, this time to check out a fiery little update to their big fish sandwich. Hence the name, their fiery big fish. Stay tuned because it's up next for you. As always, I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Yes, sir, I think I'm in for one saucy situation with this one, guys. It's looking a little heated as well. A nice presentation on this one, guys. Take a look at that fish fillet right there, looking pretty nice. Let me break it on down for you fully before we get right into it. All right, so here we go with the appropriately named Fiery Big Fish Sandwich here at BK. A very nice presentation, guys. This is looking pretty nice. Let's pop the top of this brioche-style bun and take a look underneath. And as you're going to notice, a very solid amount of tartar sauce and plenty of chopped lettuce. There's no shortage of that there. As we pan on down, you're going to notice hiding inside, we've got a bunch of pickles in there. And that's all on top of their crispy panko breaded white Alaskan Pollock Filet. Got to say, looking pretty nice, guys. Very, very nice and crispy on that one. Underneath it, We've got more of that tartar sauce and a spicy glaze. So we're gonna add a little bit of heat to this particular one. Again, hence the name, Fiery Big Fish. So a pretty nice presentation, guys. And again, lots of chopped lettuce. Not necessarily my favorite, but still looking pretty dynamite in this sandwich here. Pretty nice. All right, so let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's see if the flavor delivers. This is the all new Fiery Big Fish sandwich here at BK. Let's peep out this flavor. So technically we're in fish season right now as we're marching towards Easter and as you can see guys a very nice presentation on this offering from BK and it's the very first time they've actually kicked up their version of their fish sandwich with a little bit of heat so I'm thinking that's going to be pretty tasty considering that I checked out the original big fish sandwich back in the day as you're probably seeing up on the screen here right now. Let's just say I'm kind of surprised they waited this long to introduce a fiery variant of that considering they do everything with the burgers with the chicken sandwiches naturally but again with fish. That's definitely a first over here. And again, looking really, really nice. So let me see if I can confirm the heat, confirm the flavor on this particular one, and I'll see if it delivers. Guys, here we go. It's the fiery big fish sandwich from BK. Let's peep this out. Mmm, pickle. Ooh. Mmm. Wow, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the spicy glaze they're using from the original hand-breaded chicken sandwich they did back in the day with the Chikings, guys. It's very similar. And as you're going to see here, very nice with that little piece of lettuce. Actually, you know what? Let me pull a little piece of that off for you, give you a better view here. But as you can see, guys, that white Pollock action that you can see, very decent on this one. And a very large, nice style brioche action that we've got there as well. Very nice in the overall flavor department on this one, guys. That heat is decent. It's a nice little sizzle with this one. And it's actually playing pretty nicely with that tartar sauce, guys. A lovely situation there. Let's keep going in. This is pretty tasty. Mmm. That fish is good. That is really good. Well, as always, I'm digging that acidity snap and crunch of the pickles with this one, guys. And that goes amazing with the heat and the tartar sauce as well. This is a nice little upgrade with this. And I got to say, very nice in the overall flavor department. It's pretty tender on that fish as well. The fried coating is very light. And guys, just overall, this one is delivering. If you're not really into fish sandwiches, I would definitely recommend giving this one a shot. Very tasty on this. But then again, if you're this far into the review already and you're not really into fish sandwiches, it means you're a little bit interested because guys, I don't really get fish sandwiches too often at fast food spots, but whenever there's a promo version, I always want to give it a go. So naturally the curiosity is there. But guys, I would recommend this one to you because it is pretty nice. The light coating, that panko action on the outside, the breadcrumb action, this one is padded very nicely. And it's a fairly decent amount of fish as well. Let's keep going in. I'm digging this. Mm. We just got to lose the chopped lettuce though. It needs like a leaf piece of lettuce. That would be awesome. And man, that spicy glaze is definitely a banging situation. It's just enough of a sizzle on this one to kind of not overpower everything else flavor-wise with this. So I'm tasting the fried outer coating of the panko goodness of the filet naturally. That white Alaskan Pollock action is a banging situation. And then naturally with the expected pickles on this fish sandwich, that's a nice combination, guys. But I have to say again, why did BK wait so long to introduce a fiery version of something like this with their fish sandwich? I mean, I'm not really complaining now because I'm finally having a version of it. But I got to say, guys, I'm glad that this is out right now because it really is pretty nice. I got to keep showing it to you because as you can see, the flakiness of that white Pollock action is really nice. This is a pretty decent fast food fish sandwich. And as you can see with that goodness there, that spicy glaze is a banging situation. Let's go for another couple of bites real quick. Crispy, flaky, banging. 
So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, fish sandwiches are not necessarily my go-to, but I love checking out the promo variants whenever they come out around this time of the year. And it's always this time of the year because of length, because of all the fish action that people expect to see. All the fast food restaurants are obviously gonna fall in line and have their variation of that. But guys, like I said, the flavor on this really does deliver. And that spicy glaze is a nice add-on with this and it really accentuates everything else on the sandwich that you would expect. And naturally with the pickles on top of it, just a banging situation in that regard. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next. But again, a very solid fast food fish sandwich. I gotta say guys, something I don't normally get, but I'm glad I'm getting this one today. The heat is pretty nice on this. Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap it up. Hang on. Hmm. Well, it's got just the right amount of tartar sauce and obviously the spicy glaze to go with this one, guys. I gotta say, that's a nice little accent that doesn't overpower anything on here. Everything works very nicely in the flavor department and overall, a very fresh fast food fish sandwich for sure. Definitely give this one a shot. Even if you're not really into heat, I think you'll dig the sizzle on this one. It's definitely a nice compliment. And overall, just a banging situation today for this review. Yeah, that was a pretty lovely situation, guys. And like I said all throughout this review, while I don't usually get fast food fish sandwiches outside of the promos, I would easily rock that one again on occasion. It was very fresh, very well done. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the fiery big fish over here at BK a rock solid nine out of 10. A beautiful situation across the board with just the right amount of heat on that one, just a little bit of sizzle, and obviously overall with the tartar sauce, the snap, the crunch, the acidity, as I love to say with the pickles, a lovely situation. My only thing with it, outside of the nice tartar sauce mixing with everything, is naturally replacing that chopped lettuce, which you always hear people say about this naturally there. I would love to see leaf lettuce with that. I think it would really kind of kick it up a notch, but still, you can always kind of take some of that off. Nice quality overall, along with a pretty nice presentation to boot. Guys, definitely give this one a shot. Even if fish sandwiches are not necessarily a go-to, this one is worth giving a shot at least once to satisfy your curiosity. It's pretty decent, it really is. All right, so now it's your time to shine. Do me a quick favor, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the fiery big fish over here at BK based upon my review. How did it present to you? Did it look pretty awesome? And if you've already given this one a shot, how do you think it compares to the regular big fish if you've had that already? Do you notice a big difference with this one? Did the heat really deliver? Was it tasty for you? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.